not allowed. You must book a branch visit online. That way you'll know exactly when you need to go. It's easier. Oh, baby, you're a star. We help you to comply. Book a branch visit using our online platforms, such as the website or the SARS Mobi app. Or SMS the word booking, your ID or passport number to 47277. And one of our agents will get back to you. Your tax matters. SARS at your service. 702. 702. What's gone viral? With Kabazela. And it's a Friday. A happy Friday to you, Kabazela. Ah, good morning to you, Bella. Say it with me. Always, Always good, good on a Friday. Friday. All right, let's get straight into it. A man gives his partner a gift for a birthday she will never forget. I tell you, sometimes you watch these videos online and your mouth and your jaw just opens and drops. So what would you do if you found out after three years of raising your daughter that she is not your daughter? And you, you Biologically, have suspicion. you mean. Biologically, yes. So this is what happened to this guy. So he decided that this was the best way to, to confront the matter. So it's either his girlfriend or his wife's birthday. And she's now standing in the kitchen and he presents her with her birthday gift or gift for whatever occasion it is. Hold on, hold on. So he had suspicions. <clears throat> he already had suspicions. He had suspicions, correct. I don't know when okay. those suspicions uh, uh, arose, but he had suspicions. So he gives her this gift and she opens the gift and what the gift is, it's a whole bunch of gift bags all wrapped into one. So she opens up one and then it unveils another gift bag and on and on and on and on and on she goes. And eventually she gets to an envelope that's, uh, you know, been wrapped in uh, amongst all these gift bags. And then she unwraps this uh, envelope and then she sees what he's presented her and what he's presented her is the DNA certificate. Now, take a listen to the audio, and then we will discuss oh, the... We've got uh, audio. Oh, gosh. Okay. Mm -hmm. This Wednesday, I take us to Dubai for two weeks straight. Round trip. You do not want to go to Dubai. Open up. What is this? You know what it is. I just want you to know that I know. The bay is not mine. She's not my daughter. Why did you do this to my mother? Yeah. I want you to know that I know. The bay is not mine. I've had doubts. What doubts? I've had DNA tests. The bay is not mine. Not my daughter. Why would you cheat on me? I did it. It's proof right there. DNA test. You had three years to give this to me. Now you want to give this to me? You in the bed? That's the end of the month to get out of my house. You're kidding, right? I'm not kidding. But you, that's your daughter. Your daughter that's the end of the month to get out of my house. But that's your daughter. Jeepers, yeah. creepers. Chilly. Yo. Chilly. Hey. Yo. Yeah, so I mean, what, what would you do in that situation? I know a family member of mine had yeah. a, a, a child with this woman, and he raised this kid for quite a number of years, and then he found out that this child was not his. And he, he, he thought it was his daughter, right? He never, he never had doubts or anything like that. Yeah. Um, and then when he found out, it was you know a decision what to do. So he made the decision, obviously split with the woman, but he remained in the child's life for a very, very long time um, and still keeps in touch from time to time now. But, you know, look, the situation the way this guy handled it, I think, was very childish. That's point one. But then to say to the woman, you've got until the end of the month to take yourself and the child who you've raised as your daughter for three years and who the child thinks, you know, this is my dad. Yeah. Goodbye. Move out after the after the month. What would you do in that situation? Gosh. Have you been in that situation? That is such um, a tricky one, right? That is, let me let's put it out there. I mean, people will know family members to whom this kind of thing has happened. What is the right thing to do in a situation like that? Absolutely unbelievable. I can definitely see why it's gone viral. These days, your weekends might look a little different. But we know they've never sounded better. I don't know what you're planning to do with your time, but if you aren't trying to allocate it to this show... Wow. Well, listen. Weekend Breakfast with Rikilu and Bakanyani. Start your Saturdays and Sundays with a healthy dose of laughter. <laughs> Hello, 
Warm conversation and fresh updates on the latest lifestyle trends from across the globe. All right around the corner. <laughs> it's an absolute deal. Weekend breakfast with Rifilo and Bakayane. Saturdays and Sundays. Let's do it. 6 to 10 a.m. Only on 702. Let's walk the talk. Getting your car sold can be a real pain. Looking for the best offer can drive you insane. Rather contact webuycars.co.za or only have your car to blame. Besides nationwide, there is a buyer near you ready to buy your ride. They've been doing it for over two decades with pride. If it's convenience you're after, you're sure to find your way. Just visit their website, webuycars.co.za. Welcome to your best life, your time in paradise. Wobble along paths of cobblestone dreams with your first aid pack of anti-inflammatory creams. Bask in beach days from Monday mornings till noon. Then fall asleep before six in your duck down cocoon. Wouldn't you rather live the life you dream of sooner? Good things come to those who don't wait to invest. Coronation trust is earned. Coronation is a registered FSP. Looking for a pharmacy that has competitive prices is open 7 a.m. weekdays until 9 p.m. 365 days of the year. At Morningside Dispensary, our friendly staff can assist you with our wide range of toiletries, grooming products, supplements and vitamins. Shop for exclusive cosmetics or toys and gifts while you wait for your script to be filled. We can even gift wrap for you. Morningside Dispensary, the Wedge for Burnley Road. Call us on 011 88 See you there. 702. 702. Feedback with Clive Mwahi. In the hot seat with Feep. You're yeah, the show today. Yeah, ne? <laughs> yeah. The number of you know, calls. We sit in our meetings and we plan what we're going to discuss, and then when it happens, you're like, yo, it's yeah. been a yo, 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 it yo type of show. The number of uh, calls we're getting, Bongani, on that interview, just reacting to that after seven interview on the buildings and hijackings, I mean, it is just. Scary stuff, scary, scary stuff. So we'll hear from some of our listeners just after eight. Another thing, Bongs, we mentioned earlier and in the news that Gauteng online registrations for grade one yes. and grade yes. eight are officially opening today. Right. So some of our listeners, and this is good, are very, very eager. They started going to the website Before much eight. earlier. Yes, and they were calling us saying, listen, the website is not working. Well, it is hopefully going to work because the reason you were getting that error message is because it hadn't opened yet so it's officially opening now at eight o'clock so you can try it um this morning from eight o'clock okay and remember that it's closing on the 19th of august at midnight so don't be that par that parent that does things that waits for the last minute to do this the procrastinator, the procrastinator. don't be like clive i'm a procrastinator <laughs> yeah, of no you and me both buddy <laughs> bongs very quickly that website remember we spoke to uh Adrian Basson just before seven yes yes, yes. we've also been getting some requests to repeat that website um it's crime it's www.crimecheck.news24.com I tried it it works it shows you what the the level is uh, of crime in your area and surrounding areas as well so, I was pleasantly surprised by our rating I thought it would be worse mm, I thought it would be mm. worse um but I was pleasantly surprised Mine was in the middle going towards the high, so I, was, uh, I need to be very careful when driving around my neighborhood. Listen, it's vigilance, vigilance, vigilance. Mm. I mean, there is a strong sense that with all that we've been speaking about this morning, again, we're on our own and it's up to us to make sure we safeguard ourselves and our property. Great stuff. Clive Moachi. Let's walk the talk. 702. All right, taking more of your calls, you want to voice notes to everything we have raised on the show. It's been, as I say, a morning of your, 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 your. We'll take your reaction after this Eyewitness News. This, this is Eyewitness News. Police probe the murder of the Collins Chabane mayor who was shot dead at his home and Gauteng's online application system for the 2023 academic year goes live. Good morning, I'm Matabelo Moloy. It's the breaking story this hour. The mayor of the Collins Chabane local municipality has been shot dead and his son wounded at their home in Saselemani village. Police say 56-year-old Moses Maluleke was shot and killed last night by three gunmen who entered his home. 
they demanded money from the mayor and his 18-year-old son, and when the pair refused to comply, the men opened fire. Osukona Duma has more. The police say National Commissioner Fani Masemula has asked the Pocos Provincial Commissioner Tebi Hagebe to use maximum resources to apprehend those responsible for the murder of Moses Maluleke. The mayor succumbed to his injuries on the scene, while his 18-year-old son, who was also wounded, survived. Spokesperson Atlanda Martin. The son was transported to a nearby hospital where he is receiving further medical care. A case of murder and attempted murder has been registered. Police have since launched a manhunt for the group of suspects. The police have also called the members of the public with information to come forward. What's the corner? Do I read this news? The online applications for next year's academic year for grade one and eight pupils in Houding will officially open from this hour. Education MEC Banyaza Lasuthi will be at the Ramosa Community Hall in Mathagong in Mutagang, pardon me, today, where he will be assisting parents who don't have internet access to process their applications. While giving an update on the upgraded system yesterday, the Sufi has urged parents to use their residential addresses so they're allocated a school closer to their home. He's also vowed that his department will work against the oversubscription of some schools. We definitely know which school is going to be oversubscribed. And then we'll go to that particular school and say, we'll give you this X amount of money, can you build additional classrooms? And, and they do that and then we'll be able to do the online admissions applications will close at midnight on the 19th of next month and the placement period is expected to start in October. The city of Joburg's Human Settlements Department says it acknowledges the severity of the metro's housing backlog. This is officials try to claw back its housing system from criminal syndicates. The department has flagged the rise in government subsidized housing scams across the city and suspecting residents who are on the waiting list are being targeted by fraud stars who promise to help them jump the queue. In a media briefing yesterday, Joburg Mayor Paul Palaze and MMC for Human Settlements, Mungi Simabaso, addressed the growing trend in housing scams, which includes posing as city officials on social media. Veronica Mukwadi reports. Joburg Mayor Mpo Palazzi says the city's housing program has fallen into the hands of criminals running syndicates. The Joburg Department of Human Settlements has been inundated with walk-ins and calls from victims who've lost their hard-earned money to scammers using different fake social media accounts which constantly use the MMC's face and the department's name. These fraudsters have even registered cell phone numbers in the MMC's name which they use to extort money from vulnerable residents. With at least 480,000 people still waiting for homes, MMC for Human Settlements in Lungi Simabaso says he is aware that desperation among residents is growing. Because most of the people in fact, who are in need of, of houses in Johannesburg are people who are residing in our informal areas. So that's why then we are putting more resources in formalizing all these informal settlements. The department has urged residents to open cases of fraud in order to help clamp down on illegal operations. Veronica Mahwadi, Eyewitness News, Johannesburg. The knock-on effects of high inflation have been highlighted as one of the reasons the Reserve Bank has moved to hike the repo rate. While an increase of 50 basis points have been predicted by many economists, the Monetary Policy Committee took a more aggressive approach to stop inflation. The repo rate has been increased by 75 basis points to 5.5%, with the prime lending rate now at 9%. Ray White takes a look at the reaction to the decision. Governor Lesetje Khanyakho says continued high oil prices leading to rising inflation is one of their main worries. The bank needed to act accordingly. Chief Economist at Standard of Asset Management, Kevin Lins. If they allow it to get out of hand, it will become self-fulfilling. It's an indirect way of managing the current nature of inflation, but there's very little else they can do. City Bank's Gina Skuman says the warning signs are there and the Reserve Bank has responded. Rather than seeing second round effects, in other words, core inflation is starting to rise more than headline inflation in their forecast, which is concerning. While there is agreement that the move to raise interest rates is necessary, many South Africans will be hit by rising food and fuel prices will be wondering how they'll get through. Ray White, Eyewitness News. And U.S. President Joe Biden says he is doing well after testing positive for COVID-19. 
Biden, who is currently in isolation at the White House, says he's only presenting with mild symptoms of the virus and will continue to carry out all of his duties. The White House says the 79-year-old is fully vaccinated and is twice boosted. They say Biden is also receiving medical care and is taking Pfizer's antiviral pill to help fight off the virus. Gold is trading at $1,713.38 an ounce. The rand is at 17.06 to the dollar, 20.38 to the pound, 17.43 to the euro. Brent crude oil is at $104.56 a barrel. And at this point in the traffic in Honeydew, we still see those faulty traffic lines at Christian de Vert in Bears Nodia. Major delays on Bears Nodia in both ways uh, between Jew Street and Eastwood Avenue. If you're driving in Ren Park Ridge, we have that accident on Bears Nodia Drive going south just before Jim Fushia Drive. There are delays from Acero Drive. In Waterkloof, we still see that vehicle on fire on the N1 North before the R21 exit. There are delays from Jean Avenue. In your sport, the Proteus men looking to wrap up the ODI series early, playing England in the second ODI at 2 o'clock today. <coughs> Yesterday, the Proteus woman lost to England by six wickets in the first T20. Banyana goes in search of glory. Their battle Morocco in the AFCON final tomorrow night. Last night, coach Desiree Ellis was named Women's Coach of the Year at the CAF Awards. On the weather front, Gauteng is partly cloudy today along with isolated showers and thunder showers expected. Joburg starting at a low of 5 degrees, peaking at 19, Pretoria 9 and 22, but it's...